I hope you will enjoy today as my students. Number one, we have uh, differentiation. Question number one. Find the derivative of y equals to 3x minus 2x squared multiplied by 5 plus 4x. The first thing when you are faced with such a challenge in uh, finding the derivative, you first of all expand the bracket. So by expanding the bracket, we have y is equal to, we take the value on this side, which is 3x, multiply by the value on the other side, which is 5 plus 4x, minus 2x cubed, 2x squared, sorry, into 5 plus 4x. Then we expand it, y is equal to, 3x times 5 is 15x. 3x times 4x, we get 12x squared. x times x is x squared. 3 times 4 is 12. That's 12x squared minus 2x squared times 5. Minus 2x squared times 5 is minus 10x squared. Then minus 2x squared times plus 4x. We get 2 times 4 is 8, that is minus 8, then x times x squared times x is x cubed. Now there's a fundamental rule that you just note, when you have positive multiplied by negative, you get negative, positive multiplied by positive, you get positive, then negative multiplied by negative, you get positive. That's why we, when we have minus 2x squared times plus 4x, you get minus 8x cubed. Now, our y becomes, you simplify further by collecting the two like terms. So this one we have 15x plus 12x squared minus 10x squared is 2x squared minus 8x cubed. So this is our simplified, this is our simplified value for y. Then we are advised to find the derivative. That is differentiation. Differentiation is the gradient function. Now we are going to get y, value of y, with respect to x. That is dy dx. This is now what we call differentiation. Now when we want to differentiate, we'll differentiate every part that we have here. So we'll first of all start by differentiating 15x. So in differentiating 15x, we have 15x, then x is raised to power 1 you subtract 1. Then plus 2x squared differentiated, you drop down the power 2, then you multiply by the constant 2, then we have x, then 2, you subtract 1. Minus, drop down power 3, multiply by 8, x cubed, you subtract 1. So dy dx equals to 15x raised to power 0, 1 minus, 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 2 times 2 is 4x, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 3 times 8 is 24x, 3 minus 1 is 2. So from here, we have dy dx equals to any number raised to power 0 equals to 1, or any letter raised to power 0 equals to 1. Therefore, x raised to power 0 equals to 1. So this is 15 times 1 is 15 plus 4x minus 24x squared. This is our answer. Proceeding to part B of the question. Part B of the question is... A, a diver leaps from a diving board 34 meters above the surface of a swimming pool. So if this is uh, the surface of a swimming pool, then the diver leaps. The, a diver leaps from a diving board 32 meters above the surface of a swimming pool at time t seconds. His position is, his position h 
above the surface of the swimming pool is given by H equals to 32 plus 16 T minus 16 T squared. Now the first part of this question once find the time he took to hit the surface of the water. Find the time it took to hit the water surface. So when the diver dives from here, hits the water surface. If this is water or water, if the diver hits the water surface, at the water surface, height is zero at this surface. Therefore, if they want the time taken for the diver to hit the water surface, we only we replace the height with zero. So here is zero equals to 32 plus 16t minus 16t squared. With this equation, we can simplify it further because we have a common value here, 16. So we divide by 16. 0 divided by 16 is 0 equals to 32 divided by 16 is 2 plus 16 divided by 16t divided by 16 is t minus 16 divided by 16 is t 16t squared divided by 16 is t squared. So from here, we can multiply all the values by negative 1, so that at least we start our equation by the highest value of t, which is t squared. So when you multiply this by, by negative 1, you get t squared. You multiply negative 1 times t, you get negative minus t. Then minus 1 times 2, you get minus 2 equals to 0. So with our value here, we factorize this value. This is a quadratic expression. So in, 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 in factorizing the quadratic expression, we look for two numbers that when you multiply, gives you negative 2. But when you add the two numbers, gives you negative 1 or negative 1t, negative 1. So the numbers are 1 and 2, 1 and 2. 1 and negative 2. So here in factorizing we have t squared plus t minus 2t minus 2 equals to 0. Then we have this and we have that first part of the equation, second part of the equation. We factor t out because t is common in the first part. Therefore t into t squared you get t. t into t you get plus 1 minus the common factor here is 2 into 2 into 2t two is t, then 2 into min minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 1, equals to 0. Because we have in our bracket, you can see clearly we have a common factor of t plus 1. So we are going to collect the common factor of t plus 1, and then you pick t minus 2, you equate to 0. So t plus 1 equals to 0, and t minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, t here equals to 2. When 2 crosses, the other side becomes 2. Becomes When negative 2 crosses, becomes positive 2. And here, when, when, neg when positive 1 crosses, the other side becomes negative 1. So we have t is equal to negative 1, and we have t is equal to 2. Both are in seconds. But we can see one of the values in the, is negative 1. So time cannot be negative. Therefore, this is not practical. So time cannot be negative, cannot be equal to. This means not equal to negative. So we go with the value of t equals to 2. But you write the SI units of time is in seconds. So that is the first part of the equation. That is the time he took to hit the water surface. So at the water surface, the time is 2 seconds. Then the next part of the equation is find the velocity at which he hit the water surface. So I want you to get this in mind as time is equal to 2 seconds. So we want to find the velocity at which he hit the water surface. From our initial equation, h is equal to 32 plus 16t 
minus 16 t squared. Velocity is given by change in displacement. This sign means change. Change in displacement divided by change in time. So when we want to get the velocity here, change in velocity, change in displacement over change in time. We have displacement or the height as h. So when our height is h, we just differentiate h with respect to t. So that is dh dt is equal to, when you differentiate is equal to the velocity. So when you differentiate 32, you get 0. Plus, when you differentiate, you get 0. Plus, when you differentiate 16t, you drop 1 down. That is 1, 1 into 16. You multiply by the constant. Then t1 minus 1. Minus, you drop 2 down. That is 2 into 16. t into 2 minus 1. You subtract 1. Now, dh dt, which is our velocity, equals to, this is 16t raised to power 0 minus 32t raised to power 1, which is still the same as 32t. Therefore, our velocity is equal to any numbers I told you earlier, or any letter raised to power 0, is 1. Therefore, velocity is 16 minus 32t. But the question is telling us, you find the value of this velocity, the value of this velocity, when at which he hit the water surface. But we remember that at the water surface, the time taken to hit the water surface were two seconds. So t is equal to two seconds. So where there is t, you replace with two. So therefore, velocity is equal to 16 minus 32 times two seconds. You get 16 minus 64. So velocity is equal to minus 48. 16 minus 64 is minus 48 meters per second. But because it is negative, you write your answer as velocity equals to 48 meters per second retardation. It was retarding, retardation. To take care of the negative because it, he was slowing as he was going down. He was not, the velocity wasn't increasing. So it's retardation.